celebration in Shelbyville is a dirty practice that is harmful to the animals. Channel 4's Nancy Amons has the story. The Walking Horse celebration is in its 77th year, but these protesters don't find much to celebrate. The Tennessee Walking Horse. Some see pleasure and beauty, others see brutality and pain. The annual 11-day celebration opened in Shelbyville with protesters outside the gates. I'm a Tennessean and I'm mad. Animal rights advocates step up their message during celebration week. <laughs> Tuesday, a horse rescue group displayed a registered walking horse named Jen's Ice Glimmer. Glimmer was a show horse. He ended up at an auction July 19th, perhaps destined for a slaughterhouse over the border. It's a common destiny, one rescue group says, for horses that can no longer pass inspection because of scars left by their trainers. What I'm seeing is a horse that, that's scarred, and it's visible right here. Dr. Tom James is a retired vet and USDA inspector for horse shows. This is a horse, like all the other horses out there, happens all the time. But leaders in the walking horse industry dispute that cruel training methods are common. Well, it's a fallacy. Mike Inman is the CEO of the celebration. The industry, he says, doesn't want horses at competitions if their trainers have soared them. We want nobody disqualified, which is why we are pushing so hard for objective science-based testing. Testing that would include blood tests and digital x-rays, Inman says, rather than the subjective opinions of inspectors. Uh, science doesn't lie. But opponents say that's a smoke screen that no blood test would discover the chemicals used to soar horses. The celebration is just getting started. They choose the grand champion September 5th. In Shelbyville, Nancy Amons, Channel 4 News.